Well, good morning, my friends. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome if you're new here. Thank you for coming back if you've been around and part of my channel for a while. It is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. I am currently outside of WW just waiting to go in and weigh in for the week. My goodness, you guys, I have a lot that I want to talk about in today's video. Of course, I'm going to recap what we discussed at the workshop, let you know how my weigh-in was. I promised that I'd let you guys know how calories went throughout the week. And we got to have a little bit of a talk about this new clean eating in the way that I'm approaching my food intake on WW. So we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. Have a little heart to heart on that. But before I go into my workshop, I just wanted to let you guys know, kind of run down how my week went. So overall, my week went really well. If you remember the epiphany that I had in last week's uh, Friday video, where I realized that the scale is not the be all end all. There are so many other pieces of my journey that matter so much more than the scale. Well, I really took that to heart this last week. And that was part of why I wanted to look at my calories because I want to make sure that I'm fueling my body for my workouts and making sure that I'm eating enough so that I keep my metabolism high and rev and working. So this last week, I really focused more on eating when I was hungry and making good food choices when I was doing my eating. So there were several days this week, especially the days that I worked out at Jazzercise, where I ate basically at the top of my caloric level because I was so hungry. I think it's the week before my favorite time of the month. So I'm generally really, really hungry during that time. So the days that I worked out, which was four this last week, hallelujah, I ate a little bit more. And the days that I didn't work out, I really stayed within my points, watched my calories. So I had some higher point days because I wasn't able to get to where I wanted to be calorie wise in my points. So it was quite interesting. It was quite a eye opener when it comes to really my really active days versus my non-active days. So overall, I had a great week. I'm really learning to eat when I'm hungry and really making good whole food choices instead of snacky food when I am hungry. So I am so happy that that is happening just kind of organically for me. I'm feeling a lot better. I will be doing a one month clean eating update where I share with you weight loss, how I'm feeling, things that I've noticed because there's a laundry list of things that I've noticed in the positive that since transitioning over to a clean eating diet. So I don't know what's going to happen when I step on the scale. I imagine I'm going to have a loss, but we shall see. This is the first week that I really ate a little bit more on the days that I was really hungry and had worked out at Jazzercise. So we'll see. So I will be back shortly to share with you the topic we discussed, my weigh-in. We'll have a little heart to heart and we'll talk a little bit more about calories versus smart points. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Welcome back. I am out of my WW workshop. And of course, as always, it was such a great topic. We talked a lot about activity and WW gave us some tips and tricks on how we can incorporate activity that not only we enjoy, but that we do. The best activity is the one that we actually do consistently and the one that we look forward to doing. I know that I am preaching to the choir because this girl did not exercise much before discovering Jazzercise, but now that I have found something that I truly love, I'm, I love it. I look forward to it. I'm actually going shortly today and it's just something that I look forward to doing. And I think that's really important when you are looking to begin or change up your exercise routine. So let's talk about the tips that WW shared with us as far as activity is concerned. Number one is be realistic. So when you're thinking about changing or starting an activity program, be realistic. If you are not a runner, don't sign up to train for a 5K. If you are not someone that enjoys yoga, don't join a yoga studio. Make sure that you are thinking about an activity that you will enjoy and be able to stick with before you commit to doing a gym or joining a particular class or beginning a training routine for say a run or a walk 
look. Just make sure that it's something that you're going to enjoy and be realistic when selecting your activity. Number two, try temptation bundling. And basically what this means is save your favorite podcast or your favorite YouTuber or video for when you exercise. So save it so that you look forward to watching it or listening to it. And it also motivates you to complete your activity. So if you are someone that goes to the gym, save your favorite YouTube video for when you're on the treadmill. Not only will it make you go on the treadmill, but it will make the time that you spend a lot faster and a lot more enjoyable. Number three is find the fun in the activity. I know, I know you guys, working out and exercising is not always fun, but find the fun in it. Get an activity buddy, or again, find an activity that you actually enjoy or somewhat enjoy doing. That will make it a little bit more fun and you're more likely to not only do the activity, but stick with it long term. Don't go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for an hour if you're absolutely miserable every time, because you may have the motivation and the excitement to do that in the beginning, but that's going to fade. And and you're going to stop going to the gym and stop walking on the treadmill. So find an activity that you enjoy or somewhat enjoy and you look forward to doing. For me, that's jazzercise. I look forward to my class. I know I'm going to work my high knee off and I'm going to be sweaty and tired and sore, but I look forward to going every single time. And that's an activity that you're actually going to stick with. Number four is end on a high note. So do the activity. You're tired, you're sweaty, you're sore, but end it on a a high note, whether that be stretching to some nice peaceful music, going and sitting in the hot tub or the sauna at your local gym, just end your activity on a high note because that's going to make you want to continue doing that activity because you know at the end there's a little bit of a reward for all of your hard work. Get sweaty, get hot, get tired and sore, but then at the end you have something that you're rewarding yourself with. Not to mention the fact that you just feel a million times better. You get those endorphins going with exercise. There are so many benefits with activity and it doesn't have to be a marathon. It can be a simple walk in the park or walk around your neighborhood or a 20 minute walk on the treadmill or an elliptical or going to a fun dance class. It doesn't have to be intense and long and drawn out to make it not only beneficial, but something fun that you're going to stick with. And number five, celebrate your progress and your successes. For me, this is so fun to see my activity points just build up in my WW app. As you know, I don't use my activity points because I use all of my weeklies, but it's so fun and exciting to see those just grow and grow as I do my activity throughout the week. My goal is 100 activity points a week, and I surpass that every single week. And it's so fun to see that and also grow with my goal, like make my goal a little bit higher after each few weeks to see if I can hit that next mark and that next milestone. It's just another way to keep myself motivated when it comes to activity. So there are five fantastic tips from WW on how to find an activity that you like and stick with it long term. Again, you guys, the best activity is the one that you actually do. So find something that you'll not only do, but you'll enjoy as well. So let's jump into my weigh-in. So as I mentioned before I went into my workshop, I had a good week. I ate when I was hungry. I made good food choices. When I did eat, were there days that I went over my points? Yes. But as you know, I counted my calories this week as well. And it was quite interesting if I do say so myself. So on the days that I did not go to Jazzercise and I tracked my points and I get 34 points in a day on the blue plan, I stayed within my points and I was satisfied. There were a few times where I felt hungry, but I just drank some water and that kind of appeased that little bit of feeling hungry. But I noticed that my points and my calories were pretty on point. However, on the days that I worked out at Jazzercise, because I burned anywhere from 700 to 1,000 calories at Jazzercise, I found that if I stayed within my points, I was ravenously hungry. And for me, I'm not going to sacrifice feeling so hungry and lightheaded and starving for a number on the scale. I'm going to eat when I'm hungry. I want to keep my metabolism up and revved. So on the days that I worked out, I ate anywhere from three to 500 additional calories above and beyond my regular calories or my regular points. So I had a little bit higher point days the days that I worked out. Saturday is the day I use my weekly, so that is kind of a null day, but Friday, Monday and Wednesday, I worked out in addition to Saturday. And those are the days that I just tracked calories and points were always above my 34. But 
for me, it was more about feeling satiated and not hungry, keeping my metabolism rev and fueling my body after my workout. That's really what my focus was this week. And when I stepped on the scale, I'm happy to report that I lost 1.2 pounds. Yay! So that's excellent. Even though I had several high point days on the days that I worked out, I still managed to lose 1.2. So I'm going to put my total here on the screen for the month of February as this was my last weigh in for the month. I had a great month. I am happy with that number. I lost every single week in February, which is amazing. And I never felt like I couldn't eat if I was hungry. So hallelujah. That's great. I am thrilled with that. So lastly, I wanted to have a little bit of a talk, a chat, a heart to heart with you guys. As you know, about three weeks ago, I transitioned over to a clean eating approach to WW. I am still doing WW, but I've just simply changed the foods that I'm eating to fall more into the clean food category, which basically that means more whole food minimal processed food, zero fat free and very, very minimal sugar free only because I was noticing that I wasn't satisfied with my points. If I ate a lot of processed snacks, I wasn't seeing the results on the scale and I wasn't feeling the energy that I need to make it through my jazzercise workout. So after doing a lot of research, I decided to switch over to the clean eating approach to WW. Now with that being said, I've been sharing my clean eating journey with you in the form of videos on my channel. I'm talking about the clean 15 and the dirty dozen and I shared with you my staples on clean eating and I've noticed that not necessarily so much from you my viewers but from the YouTube WW community kind of a lot of backlash on my decision which is interesting in the sense that I'm eating better, I'm seeing more results on the scale and all I'm doing is sharing what I'm doing with you here on my YouTube channel. This is my channel, so I have the right to share whatever I want to share. I'm not telling you guys what to do. I'm not telling you that you should eat clean and only eat organic and only buy the foods that I'm buying. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm doing on my channel, just like everyone else shares with you what they're doing on their channel, whether that be all processed food, sugar-free, fat-free, clean eating, organic, vegan, plant-based, whatever it may be. This is our platform to share our journey on. And it saddens me that people think that when we share what we're doing, that we're telling you what to do. That's not at all the case. And honestly, you guys, you don't have to eat clean. You're still part of my tribe. You're still part of my channel. I love you the same. You do what works for you on WW. This is what is working for me. And so I'm sharing that here on my channel. And it's just saddens me and disheartens me to see the negativity from other YouTubers and the feeling like I'm doing something wrong by sharing my research and what I'm doing here on my journey. So with that being said, I just want to remind you guys, do what works for you. If you don't want to eat clean, by all means, don't eat clean. If you want to eat clean, great. I'm here to support you either way. I'm going to be sharing recipes on my channel like I have already that include clean eating and not clean eating. I'm giving you the points for subbing light cheese, fat-free cheese, fat-free this, sugar-free that, and also with clean food so that you have the option to eat how you want to eat on your journey here on WW. So by no means am I telling you what to eat. You guys know I am not the food police. There are enough food police on WW YouTube community for everybody. And these same people that tell you that you shouldn't eat this and shouldn't eat that and you shouldn't buy food online, blah, blah, blah. Those are the same people that are now talking about those of us, including myself, that have switched over to a different way and a different approach to WW and talking negatively about that. And it just, it frustrates me. I've gotten a lot of really, really good feedback from you guys, which I very much appreciate. I'm glad that you are taking what I'm sharing with you and turning it into what you want it to be when it comes to your WW journey. So I just want to again remind you, do your journey the way that works for you. I do it clean eating. That's what works for me. I am going to continue sharing that here on my channel because I'm always honest and transparent with you guys. And if I didn't share what I'm doing clean eating wise, I wouldn't be being honest and transparent. So you're going to still see clean eating videos. You're still going to hear about clean eating and buying organic and why you should if you want, choose this over that. It's just education and that's what I'm here to do is share the education and my journey with you. Feel free not to watch those videos or skip past the pieces that don't interest you, but 
let's keep it positive and let's support each other in the WW community, no matter what type of way we're working WW. So I'm off my soapbox. That's it. Just stay positive, support each other. You work the program the way you want to work the program and whatever works for you. So with that being said, I hit 25,000 subscribers today, you guys. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for a giveaway. So I have to kind of think about all that I want to do for the giveaway. But thank you, all of you, for your support, your positivity, your comments, your friendship, and all 25,000 of you mean so much to me. That is a goal that I had for the end of the year. So let's move on to 30,000. Let's grow this community. It is such a wonderful place to be. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. It means so much to me. So with that being said, I've rambled enough in this video. Make sure that you leave some comments down below. I want to hear how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? How are you feeling about eating when you're hungry and making better food choices and what you're doing on your program that works for you? I want to hear all about it in the comments. If you're new, welcome. Welcome. I'd love it if you'd stick around subscribe. Make sure your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Thumbs up this one if you enjoy these weigh-ins. And again, thank you guys for all of your love and support. I seriously, truly love you guys. And my channel is here to help you and educate you and share my journey with you. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye guys. Music